I've been a medical doctor now for over 40 years, but I learned early in my medical career that it's not just treating patients over and over again for the same diseases. I wanted to start preventing diseases. I started going to Sudan because I try to go to the neediest places. You think of the worst places in the last several years, and I was there. We do small medical clinics. We build the medical clinics. Number two, we take care of clean water, like in this well right here. Clean water. And lastly, we provide treatment for kids who are malnourished. But Philip seems to me to have a passion for his people, to help his people back in Sudan. So he and I, Philip and I, went together to meet the Sudanese ambassador to the United States in Washington and presented this whole idea to him. They were very interested. So that's the reason we're following up with a visit to Sudan to see how interested they are and whether or not we can get started in helping save more kids in Sudan. And Philip, I think, uh, really does a good job. He already has meetings set with some government officials in Juba, the capital of South Sudan. Juba is a very, very poor area, but getting better. Uh, so, and some of the lost boys are now back in Juba as government officials, and I know those lost boys. For instance, Abraham Ayi is one of my closest friends, and he did real well here in America. He went back to try to help his people, so he's one of the guys we'll be meeting with, and he's a government official who can help us open doors.